Now the next topic that we'll be discussing about is instance nomenclature. So whenever you will be creating the instances, this kind of nomenclature, this is the instance name. So this name is specific and it is significant. Each and every letter is significant over here. So as you can see, the first letter, it denotes the family. So we have different type of families like general purpose, compute optimized, storage optimized, memory optimized. Such kind of families of EC2 instances are there for different kind of use cases. So here, this particular instance belongs from the compute family. Okay. The next number represents the generation. Now these two things, okay, the family and the generation would always be a part of EC2 instance name. Attribute is the optional thing. It may be there or it may not be there, but family and generation would always be there. So this is the fifth generation. How the generation will change? If anything in the backend, in the servers or in the data centers, okay, any hardware upgrade is made or uh, the entire servers are being replaced by, you know, the more advanced servers, then the generation of that EC2 instance changes. And it is suggested to use always the newer generation of the EC2 instances. So this is compute optimized fifth generation with N as attribute. So N represent network optimized. So this instance would be network optimized with the size of extra large. So there are different sizes. What sizes are there? It can be nano, it can be micro, it can be small, it can be large, right? So according to the different sizes, we get different amount of memory and different amount of, uh, you know, cores in the backend when we are creating this EC2 instance. So it depends upon to your workload that what kind of instance you want to use over here. So this is regarding the nomenclature of instances. Now let us understand that what are the different types of instances possible over here. So there are these all types like general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized and accelerated computing. So when you want a balance of compute, memory and networking resources, then the general purpose compute is a good choice. Okay, what are the example of general purpose compute? So the examples can be M6G, there can be a Mac, there can be M6A, M5. Okay, anything starting from M would be falling under general purpose compute or anything starting from A, like A1, okay, that is also general purpose. Then anything starting from T, like T2 or T3, these are also general purpose uh, instances. So into the nomenclature, if anything is starting from M letter, A letter or T letter, then it falls under general purpose, right? So what can be the use case for this general purpose? So you can be using this uh, when you are having, you know, um, the flexibility or say you want the combination of CPU, memory and storage and networking. So what are the use cases? Here the use cases can be web servers or uh, code repositories, let's say. Right. The next type of uh, instance that we have is compute optimize. So compute optimize is best when you are going to work with compute bound application where you need high performance processors or HPC okay when you want such kind of uh, performances high processors like uh, for processing batch workloads for media transporting for scientific modeling for machine learning so all of those are the use cases for compute optimized right so what are the instances that uh, helps us with compute optimize? So any instance starting from letter C would be our compute optimize. Like it can be C1, it can be C5, right? We have already seen this. So anything starting from C would be the compute optimize. Or we can also have HPC6A. This is also one example of compute optimize. 
So next is memory optimized. So these memory optimized instances are designed to deliver fast performance for workloads that processes large sets in memory. Okay, what can be the example? If you want to host your databases over here, right? Because databases need to process large data sets in memory. Or you want to have the cache like memcache or reddish, right? So at that time, if you want to have the real-time processing of unstructured data like uh, Hadoop or Spark clusters, then at that time also the memory optimized uh, compute is really very helpful. So what are the instances that you can use over here? So anything starting from R like R5 or say R6, right? Or anything that goes with X1 instances or anything starting from X or Z, okay? These are the instances which are under memory optimized. Then the next topic that we have is storage optimized. So storage optimized instances are designed where high sequential read writes are also being required. Okay, so these are optimized to deliver tens of thousands of low latency random IO operations per second. So where it will be helpful, where you want to create uh, the data warehouse, where you want to have the map reduce or Hadoop distributed computing, where you want to do the log processing, right? So at that time, the storage optimized would be the best choice and how the instances are being recognized, any instance which starts from letter D, okay? Or any instance starts from letter H, I, so all of these are the storage optimized option that we have. The last type of option that we have is accelerated computing. So these hardware accelerators, right? Or co-processors. Why these are used? For graphic processing, data pattern matching. So all of these are the use cases for uh, accelerated computing. So if you require high processing capabilities, then you like, you know, hardware based computes are required such as uh, uh, graphic processing units or FPGAs, right? Then you can go with the accelerated computing. So anything starting from letter G would be falling under accelerated computing. Anything starting from P also falls under accelerated computing. So these are all the instances types that we have on AWS for EC2.